Hello, this is Pat Cummings again and with another Tips for Assessment Director. Today we are going to do a demonstration of vertical lookups, which is a formula that I use all the time. Uh, if, um, let's, if you need refresher about what the, formulas, what the formulas are, you can always go to the Help menu and find the formula. Here I put Vertical Lookup and it will tell you more information about the vertical lookup formula. But essentially the key to this formula is it matches two tables based on a common ID or a common uh, number. Here we have ethnicity in a data set and we have uh, 0, 5, 3, 1. Each student is a, given a code. And, Let's say that we want to take that particular code and do a lookup and say, actually put the value in of what is a 5, what is a 4. So we're going to open up our ethnic codes. And here we have from CSRS our table that shows 1 through 8, has a long description, a short description, and even an initial. We're going to be using vertical lookup to change the one in our other table to American Indian or N or whichever one of the columns we want to use. Let's go back. Let's do this. We'll start by inserting a column and then we put the equal formula and this lets us know there is a uh, formula will be coming. VLOOKUP. Now this tells you what you are uh, the various um, features that need to go in this particular formula. One is what are you looking up? Well, in this case, it's zero. We're looking up that ethnic code zero. The next is a table array. The third is which column in the table array. And the fourth is whether or not you want to have perfect matches in your lookup. So we'll start by looking up this right here, zero. Comma. Now we need to find the table array, so we're opening up our ethnic codes. And the array is from cell A2 down to D10, that is the array. Next we'll do is a comma, and we want to know which of the columns do we want to return. In this case, we will return the one, two, third column over. I'll put the short description in, three. And the last thing is either true or false. In this case, if we put false in, then it is going to be a perfect match. And if it's not a perfect match, it's going to say NA, like it, you're outside of the array of this particular table. So that is your formula. And we'll go to return. And we can see 0 returned blank. Now we need to copy this particular formula all the way down. The easiest way to do this is just to take this bottom right corner, double click it, and it now has copied everything down to the uh, bottom of the of the file. And I think this is um, oh about 3,000 3,000 students here. Now. One of the reasons we put this false in is what happens if it's outside of the array. If you remember, our table had 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so what would happen if we put something in the formula that was outside of that range? So I'll just take this first one and put a 9. There you go. It says I don't recognize that particular um, number. It's not in the table that I'm looking up. The last thing we'll do is that this is a formula. If you want to get rid of the formulas, then we need to copy the whole column, paste special values, and now that has stripped out the formula and it becomes our uh, just a text file. Now I'll get rid of this. Delete. There you go. Now, rather than the ethnic ID, we actually have the short label for which ethnic code this is. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you later. Thank you.